Hey there, I'm Richard Brandt, Modest Historian, and you're watching Stream It Now. Crackle has announced 150 of its free movies are leaving at the end of the month. But what does that mean exactly? As my faithful viewers might recall, last month, Crackle said that 356 of its movies, very nearly everything on Crackle except for the Crackle Originals, were going to expire this month, yet, come around the 1st, 100 or so of those movies were still there, but more than half of the movies that were supposed to be expiring did. And this time, the 150 movies that are flagged for removal are less by quite a bit than half of all the movies on Crackle. So I'm inclined to say you need to take this seriously. Last month, it was kind of a crapshoot as to whether your favorite movie was going away or not. So if you missed Austin Land this month, you might not want to take a chance on missing Pride and Prejudice in Zombies next month. What else do you risk missing out on? Well, there's Robert De Niro as an insult comic in The Comedian. Where else can you see Demi Moore, Rob Lowe, Emily Perkins, and John Belushi in an adaptation of David Mamet's play Sexual Perversity in Chicago, written for the screen by Tim Kazarinsky. Nowhere else but an Edward Zix film of about last night. Also, Cuba Gooding Jr. tells Tom Cruise to show him the money. And then Cuba Gooding Jr. shows Tom what an Oscar looks like. In Jerry Maguire, also another football-themed movie, Will Smith in the True Life NFL drama Concussion. Rutger Hauer and Tom Sizemore in Beyond Valkyrie, Dawn of the Fourth Reich. Jeff Daniels and Anna Paquin in Carol Ballard's jaw-droppingly beautifully photographed nature film Fly Away Home. Stephen Chow's comic masterpiece, Kung Fu Hustle, a great adaptation of Augustine Burroughs' memoir, Running with Scissors, with a stellar cast. Lawrence Kasdan, star-studded Western Silverado, featuring Kevin Costner showing more energy than you've ever seen him show in a movie. The anime, Tokyo Godfathers. Oliver Stone's un underappreciated and misunderstood dark comedy U-turn. Miles Teller and Oscar winner J.K. Simmons and Damien Chazelle's Oscar winning Whiplash and the movie that's leaving sites all over the internet, Zombie Land. And of course, plenty more. Like I said, 150 titles that very well may be leaving on August 1st, I've got the full list at my blog, and I'll leave a link for you.